Hi there, this is uh, Richard Denning here from uh, UK Games Expo and this is a short uh, update video to uh, let you know about additional features for exhibitor stands. It's now possible to add videos and images onto your stand so that you can show those videos and images to visitors. This may well appeal both to any exhibitor uh, wanting now to show pictures of products, um, videos talking about their products, what they've got to offer, uh, but also uh, perhaps even more um, of interest for authors and, um, and, and artists that are at the show. Um, other exhibitors such as publishers have other means that they can engage with the uh, visitor. So for example they can get the visitor to connect through to them on Discord and get into a conversation about a demonstration and then get them onto a demonstration, maybe using the tabletopia environment or some other means that they want to demonstrate their games. However, um, an artist or an author, for example, and perhaps also retail shops and um, those sorts of exhibitors uh, won't have um, that kind of platform that they can explore with the visitor because they haven't got an easy a demonstration of a game that they can show. They've got because they've got books, they've got games, uh, maybe they've got um, dice or jewellery or something like that. So these this, these features I'm hoping will be of interest to those sorts of exhibitors. Okay, so let's have a look at a let's have a look quick uh, look at a stand here. Um, so here we are on the uh, expo um, website here, um, and the uh, the stand here. Is uh, um, showing the trade hall. Okay, so here we have the trade hall, and on 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 this trade hall, um, I'm just going to actually sort of uh, fiddle around with this a minute. Let's see if I can make this a bit better um, um, for you to to see. Um, there we go. That's, there we go. That's why I was tutting about it because I made a botch up of that at the start, hadn't I? Um, that's live um, streaming for you. Okay, slightly better um, view of the website now. Um, so here we go. Uh, this is this is the um, the trade hall map, um, and people may encounter your stand a variety of ways. The most likely way is by just coming across it by poddling along this uh, aisle here. They may search for you specifically. They may have a look by filtering things. So let's say it is um, an author or an artist that they are looking for, um, and by way of example, let's have a look at Mercy Books. Um, so Mercy Books here. Now, um, you can see on this um, stand now that we have a, a both an image here um, and we also have um, looking at um, videos um, and things. And I think that these are the, these are these features which, which I think um, are going to be um, of, um, of interest. Uh, to to everybody because I think the um, the key thing here is being able to show what you what you've got and you can if you can show a um, demonstration um, by um, by these means then all, all well and good so here we have um, a picture an image that I've just put in but below it here we've got videos these are quick um, 30 second introductions to each of my books watch five second for this one and then uh, myself or, or all members, or other members of the family have been dragged in to do little recordings of the first chapter of each of these books. So the idea is that um, with a quick introduction um, they, can, they can listen and, and see if they want to know more. If they do want to know more they can jump into one of the uh, readings of the first, the first chapter. Up here in the links we have um, uh, if they want to actually chat to me um, then if they click on Discord, uh, they'll actually be, be transferred across to the Medusa Game Stand, which is probably where I'll mainly be occupied um, over that weekend. Um, and but they'll be able to get hold of me on Discord, um, and this link will take them through to a page where they'll be able to find out more about buying the books. So that is the idea here. So the question is, how did we go about setting this up? Now you can see that perhaps for um, um, artists um, and for retail stores, uh, jewelry jewelry um, companies, those with um, products such as accessories and all that sort of thing, there are uh, having having images sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Yeah, um, and then you can have links um, to places to find out more about those things. So the way that we've done that, the way that we've got this this set up, um, is to um, Let's go back into the 
the stand. So in your exhibitor portal, which you have to log into, if you don't know how to do that, I remind you that uh, under the um, ex under how it works exhibiting, there are all these videos that can tell you how to do all these things, including configuring a virtual stand. Okay, so get into your stand, come into here, come into stand details, and um, here we now have insert image and also um, insert media. And these allow you to um, put these things in. Um, you will need to then link to a location. Let's say I wanted to put something in there. Or you would need to link to a location of the image uh, or of the um, of the video. Um, but which, the video, of course, should be probably hosted on something like YouTube. So you need to record a video and then and then the link can go in there and then once it's embedded bump there there it is uh, the this is a this is an image which happens to be on my uh, my own um, website um, for my own books uh, so again I'm just linking into those those images so that's basically how you do it and um, I think with a bit of I'm sure that artists and things being far more talented than me will manage to present themselves a nice looking gallery here are some sample images which can then be linked across to their sites where uh, people can perhaps find out more about their art um, perhaps then if they wanted to have a conversation you could either put a discord link on um, like I've done there or perhaps you just make it a, um, a request for a conversation so you might want to put a, an email link in something like that where people can say you know I'd like to follow up a conversation about your art can we can you can you email me back you don't necessarily have to have a live chat channel um, running through the um, show as we've done as we've done done here um, but I think that um, for somebody like a, um, a retailer um, or somebody like, like that uh, that kind of a link will make sense because it could well be that um, people are wanting to have a conversation about what offers you've got on and what the postage costs are maybe or something have you got this product or that product or when is this other um, thing becoming becoming available and so that's where the uh, the chalk the talk channels come in um, there's no reason why um, you can't if you wanted to at some point put an event on you know you could as an author or an artist or an author an author, an author or an artist could uh, or a retail store or someone like that you could maybe uh, over the weekend if you wanted to pop a, uh, a Q&A um, type event on um, or just talking about um, the latest range of things that you've got you've got available um, why not do that um, and so the way you would do that is um, you go into your um, stands um, and down here you've got so you've got manage events and manage events allows you to add submit an event and that event will show up on your on your page um, for the uh, for the trader on the on the trade page and also will will show up under events and also and ultimately on the front page uh, as it's just imminent uh, when it's coming and it's coming up um, in the next half an hour or so um, so um, it was just a very quick um, overview. It um, wasn't intended to be in massive detail, it was just meant to highlight the fact that you can now add images, you can add video content, and I think that's particularly of interest potentially to um, authors and artists and maybe the not, um, maybe the people, um, maybe the non publishers. Publishers, I think, have got other means, you know, with demonstrations and stuff, but this I think will be of useful to those other those other exhibitors and give them a better chance of actually getting their stuff out there and in front of. Um, the, the, the the visitor to virtually expo okay so i think that's good enough for the moment we'll uh, we'll leave it there there'll be up more updates of this sort as we add more features on or we want to highlight uh, certain features so good luck with setting up your uh, your stand